Another fun idea that you can use when you're arranging chord melodies is to use chromatically ascending and chromatically descending bass lines. So in this song, in the key of G, basically it's just our bass line will be. It's very interesting. But let's attach a melody note to it and then fill it in with chords. So first, let's just play the bass note and the melody note. we don't have. What's cool about this is we've got the bass note and we've got the melody note. So that's two notes of a chord that's just one note short of it being a chord. So let's look at all of our options. I'm just going to show you what I chose and my thought process behind that. So here is the ascending chromatic bass line. So first G and G, pretty obvious choice, choice just to make it a G major. For this one, I chose an A-flat augmented because I have this sharp five happening here. For this one, we've got an A in the bass and a B in the melody. Pretty obvious A minor nine to me. For this one, this B-flat and this E, I could think about, okay, well, that's a sharp 11 or a flat five. I could make that a flat major 7 sharp 11 or B flat 7 flat 5. Go with what you like, what, what sound that you like. I like this one right now for this song. So right here we've got a B in the bass and a G up top. So that is a B minor 7 chord with a, with a flat 6. This one, I've got a C and a bass and a B in the melody. So I could think C major 7. Here for melody, we've got this E moving to a G with a C sharp in the bass. So I could think C sharp half diminished, or I could think A7 uh, in the first, with a first inversion, so with the third on the bottom. So after this, we've got a D in the bass and a G in the melody, so I made it a C over D chord. with a D sharp in the bass um, because I'm, I'm moving to an E minor here. So then we have a secondary dominant happening. And then here, our melody note is an A, bass note is an F, uh, F major 7. Also, anytime you can use open strings, I like doing that. So I'm letting that G kind of ring inside there. So then the melody is restarting. Well, we're really close to that G again. We'll play this F sharp, and I'm going to play um, a D7 in the first inversion, moving us back to G. So again, 
And so the ascending choices that we made. Now we're going to look at our descending choices. It's basically the same thing we did down here, but we're playing it up here because we want to walk down from up here. Just another G major. We've got an F sharp in the bass and an E back here. I'm playing um, a D over F sharp with an E. Here we've got a B in the melody and an F in the bass. So I thought, okay, how about a G with an F bass? Here we have an E in the bass and also another E up top. Um, so that could be an E minor. Or it could be a C. I like the C, so that's what I went with. Here we have an E flat in the bass and a G in the melody. So what are our options there? Um, we could play an e, f e, e flat major seven chord. Now here we've got a D in the bass and we've got a B in the melody. So we could play um, a G over D or just a D6, a D major with a six, that B being the six. We kind of were in this situation before where we had this E and this G happening over the C sharp. Um, use the same chord, this A over A7 over C sharp chord. C in the bass, G in the melody, C major 7, or C major 6-9. One's an obvious choice. We've got a B in the bass and a B in the melody, so B minor. This one's kind of weird. Um, B flat major seven, maybe, because we've got this 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 major seven happening. Uh, so and now we're very close to that G, so coming back to circling around. So here I would just play maybe like a two five. Tritone substitution. So instead of playing C5, we've got so the entire chromatics. If you're interested in taking your guitar playing to the next level, check out Pick Up Music. We have hundreds of lessons from the world's top guitar players. It's the best way to get to the next level, especially if you're an intermediate player. There's a 14-day free trial, so you can start free, try it out, and let us know what you think.